it's Wednesday, January 15th, uh, 27th, 2022. Um, there are two photos. This is Girl with the Pearl Earring from The Hague. Um, this was my mom when she was young. And those are those ancestral secrets and bloodline importance, whatever. Um, now, curious, because that's the girl with the pearl earring that's hung at the Frick, what the Frick Museum, in The Hague, somewhere else on a different land mass. I'm in a territory um, that at the moment it looks like um, high amounts of some kind of light almost like an open x-ray is what it looks like to me, where it feels like because when I put my hand in front of it, my bones disappear. And um, now I know I saw something. They It's spelled H-U-A-W-E-I. Um, when you pronounce it, I don't know. But I hear that Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, um was attacked by Japanese, at least that's what the humans around here are saying. Um, hard to get truthful information during this, whatever. Um, but that's the ongoing rumor, is that it was Pearl Harbor in Hawaii um, that got attacked. Now they have a company, I would have pronounced it the H-U-A, W-E-I, I would have pronounced it Hawaii, but they're, the teleportation device is announcing it's spelled Huawei, and it's these gigantic white um, machines or electronic whatever that they're putting, they're like x-ray machines that they sold and are putting up in New York. Uh, I'm in New York City. Um... So in Bayside Station, that's what they've installed. So it's painful uh, to go out long term. Uh, I'm not the only one. This woman also has the same thing I've reported before that my hair is falling out. Um, radiation sickness, radiation poisoning that none of the doctors with medical degrees ever talk about. Right. Um, hair falling out is one. Uh, then after that... Um, there's the false uh, king claim um, every day. I mean, it's she says it's her name, but the word king, K-I-N-G, uh, has a false narrative attached to it. Um, it looks more like they're a progressive movement based on uh, earlier acknowledgments by um, the television, uh, but they're wearing yellow. Now, I know as a 13th colony member um the state of new york my son's school in the black shroud came home with an undesignated 13 colonies it does not have initials in it um i being that it took down the american flag being that i don't have any real information i was not offering to fill it in and hand it back in um so um that's that. I'll teach my son that privately at home at the moment. Um, but uh, I know that there's also a movie that just came out, Unsilenced, which has some China reference, which I know frightens the heck out of the Americans, or North Americans, as it should. I'm no different. Um, but I see that the false king or the fake king narrative of they have a dream uh, and it looks to me like anarchy, tyranny um, and staged coup in some phase uh, they're now today she's wearing a yellow dress with yellow glasses and then speaking to another member about dealing with pandemic stress um, also they mentioned Supreme Court Justice at the age of 83 looked like he could have been a Holocaust survivor by the way um, he had some law clerk 
look like it was in some progressive motion with the other yellow dressed whatever um that would be first hand accounts like they would get first hand law degrees better than even myself could uh, obtain within this New York foundation um so now they're getting advanced law degrees advanced knowledge classified and they're kept in a more up-to-date loop than myself who has never been able to get out and is stuck in some x-ray technology now based on other things that they allowed to happen um, to kill off management or the designated reps based on the monetary green-backed Federal Reserve note with the United States of America on it and Mount Rushmore. They carved the ancestors' um, faces in stone, so we had one line of anchor for reality for this whatever. Um... And it's been also, so I, like, it's almost like they get peer review, P-I-E-R of classified information, firsthand accounts of judges ruling, and then they become some kind of, like, fast network of communication. But I don't really understand why the justice front face in that whatever would have all of these outside foreign nation hires that they would give classified information to because it has not been made public yet. So I'm just curious how that works at actual legal prowess since I have not been able to get into, like, say, a Harvard for law or... I, in fact, actually, I applied to Harvard. I was denied. I was denied admission, just so we're clear. So... Let's go back to what they're acknowledging now to the public, which is the where I am. COVID symptom, why you could be impacted even if you didn't test positive. Plus, how's they're calling the hair falling out COVID. You know what it looks like? It looks like those machines you installed for open x-ray to hurt some of the children in some... I wasn't in Auschwitz. I hear and I saw horrific things happen there. But it is now a different age. I'm in a different area. And there are different war crimes going on that nobody's even acknowledging. How soon before it grows back? Tomorrow on CBS 2 News at 11. It doesn't grow back or it hasn't thus far. Now, they're saying that Ukraine has a blue and yellow flag, which I find is really interesting because there's some headline about Russia and Ukraine fighting. I don't know why, but I don't even know if they're getting the correct whatever unfiltered from the victims and management that is under attack by this progressive attempt to overthrow the United States of America like headquarters that's been in process, but I don't understand how they've advanced to this stage. We're looking at how to I mean, am I the only human and non-monster? I mean, I'm in a monster, alien, and human development and conversation. Just most of the times I don't even know we've even begun a conversation because nobody's, there's, there's nobody here with stress in a healthy way as we head into the third year of living with this pandemic. One survey found 32% of adults say they are sometimes so stressed out by the pandemic they struggle to make basic decisions like what to wear or what to eat. Now, is this guilt in a two-way conversation? I'm just curious. To eat. Look in the other way. Is that an acknowledgement? Nedra glover Tawab is a licensed therapist and a New York Times bestselling author. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, you know, we, when we talk about stress... The um, king that made it on to the January calendar that claims to be a doctor, had a dream, looks very similar in ancestry. They're not 
what was left at headquarters for managing this side and this corridor. So I'm just curious what other possible evil enemy children from everywhere that are attacking the U.S. Uh, headquarters for like inside secrets and knowledge and then jobs and then contract positions and then ability to go elsewhere while compromising even like the most basic care needs of the unbeknownst since we rely on them now for information through this teleportation device and they're not even advising. They're wearing color coordinated <laughs> messages. But there's victims here, like real ones, and they seem to have jobs, fiscal allowance, allowed allowance of knowledge, allowance of some power, and I don't seem to have been afforded at a humanities level the same level of opportunity. Uh, you said that you have seen pandemic-related stress increase. Why is that? We and this is the story they double talk with. Of up and down fluctuations, and we can't get used to what ha what's happening right now because we know what the world used to be like. Now, what are some easy tips if someone is feeling stressed? Do they stressed out? What was the world really like? Please explain it to me, because there's some solid foundational evidence and facts when I do detective work. And then there's a whole lot of story and entertainment in just distract the kids and don't tell them the truth while we all go and progress some adult situation. Oh, that they can keep with them on a daily basis. It's important to remember that we cannot be our own selves. So many of us are trying to operate in the way that we used to, and we just can't do that anymore. It's all What was the way that they used to? I don't hear any real facts here for self-defense. I hear a lot of distraction. And then what? It's also important to get back to a lot of the things that we started doing in the beginning of the pandemic, like making time for ourselves, making ways to connect. Now, Joe, how do you know when you're having a bad day or a series of bad days? See, now they've color coordinated. She's got, I've seen her with blue glasses before, but now she's wearing yellow glasses. I also know that there's some kind of yellow state map that one of the whatevers is working whatever. And they showed it, displayed it the other day, but it is not the same as the 13 colonies. And without initials and without states' names, someone's working it. But I'm keeping it on my file. So this way I'm helping my ancestries take back their treasured bloodline and their ability to protect from this peer review and from this classified information leaked years ahead of when it goes into effect and for these outside reps, we'll call them, who somehow were outsourced by some other force, who is now causing even greater disturbance within multiple lines of the interior system of where I'm being forced to live. There's been withholding of opportunity, of staples, life-sustaining staples, and um, forced into situations like this while this advancement is going on to hurt the founding fathers and their children in this area. 
Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. It is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. It's January 27th, 2022. I do not understand how anyone could allow the Supreme, the United States Supreme Court to be 